I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is called Charleston modeling. The Charleston is a big part of the game. It's actually half the game. There are two Charlestons. The first one is obligatory, right across left. The second is optional as a whole, left across right. I have heard that some groups have made a house rule where they eliminate the second Charleston altogether. I think it's best to proceed with the second Charleston. A lot of times players change their mind and you can get fresh tiles in that second Charleston. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three iterations. We'll alternate dealer, non-dealer, dealer. So I'll get 14 tiles for the first one and create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have two jokers, a west. We've got mams, one four, pair of fives, dots, pair of ones, pair of sixes, and a nine. Then we have a six and an eight in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you say is the strength of this hand? What category would you play? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would give up the West first. Build around multiples. Maybe little odds, one, three, five. Or we could do consecutive, four, five, six. Let's see what comes in. Little odds, one, three, five, or four, five, six consecutive run. We'll pass these. We got a four, five, and a five. I think four, five, six consecutive run is gonna be the way to go here. We have a challenge though, because we have a pair of ones and a one. So we need to whittle this down. Maybe we could do four, five, six with fives. That would be the concealed hand. And that would also give us tiles to pass. Four, five, six with fives, pung, pair, pung, pung, pung. We'll break up the one dot. We got a five and we have tiles we can pass. Oh no, we got a keeper. Four, five, six with fives. We're so close here. I think I would risk passing like numbers. No keepers. We have a six bam there. We need five crack, five dot. No keepers. This is gonna be a little bit of a risky pass, but we're playing a concealed hand and we're three away. No keepers. Whoa, that is a risky pass. I probably would not pass all three. I would pass two for the optional cross. So we have three discards for a concealed hand. Probably use these maybe to help with the five. We need to pung, pair, pung. We got a pung and use these jokers to help as needed. This would be the weakness, but 
no gaps for a concealed hand. Three discards. For this next iteration, we're going to be non-dealer. I will get 13 tiles this time. We have two jokers, lots of cracks, one, two, pung of threes, four, nine. Then we have eight, nine in dots, seven, eight in bams. If these were your tiles, what would you say is the strength of the hand? What category would you play? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around these. There's some potential for three, six, nine, but we have a gap of no six. Here we have consecutive run, no gaps. That's what I would focus on. Pass one of each suit. We got an eight. That's not gonna help with threes. We did get a five, I would keep it two, three, four, five, potential. We did get a wind. Maybe we could play a quint with winds and the threes. Here we have a nine in like numbers. I think I would give up on the quint idea. We have no flowers. Well, and we could even play one through four quint. Here we have a five dot two, three, four, five. We do have a gap of no four dots, but I would keep these just to see what happens. Let's pass these. Two dot, nine crack, east. We got a flower. Here's a six, three, four, five, six consecutive run. I would break these up. I would not pass a flower. We have to pass across three, four, five, six. I would risk passing like numbers. We've got a flower, flowers. Oh my goodness. We're on last right. I would pass one blind. Four. Ooh, look at this. Three, four, five mixed suit cons with flowers. I would play three, four, five mixed suit cons. Pass three for optional. We've got a two, two, three, four, or five. I think I would probably keep it just to see, discard these first, that first, then those. Three, four, five, mixed suit Kongs. Three away, no gaps. Consecutive run, very flexible. This last iteration, we're going to be the dealer. I'll get 14 tiles.
we have a pair of flowers, pair of souths and an east, one eight in dots, one four eight in cracks, one two eight in bams, pair of eights. If these were your tiles, what would you say is the strength of this hand? What category would you play? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around eights and flowers. We could do east and west with eights. like numbers with eights. We could do two, four, six, eight. We're left with souths and ones. So something has to go. I would keep the eights. Let's give up a four and break up the south. We have a six, two, four, six, eight potential. Year tiles. I think I would give up the six and focus on eights. Sevens. Maybe we could do something consecutive. Seven, eight, seven, eight, flowers. Let's give up the east. Here's a nine. Consecutive tiles here. Seven, eight, nine. I really don't like passing white dragons. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, seven, eight, eight. Seven, eight, nine, mix suit Kongs. Let's give up a nine. We got fives. We have a pair of eights though. I would let it go. One of each suit. Oh no, that's not one of each suit. We'd have to pass like numbers. We'll pass these three. Six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Let's pass these. Red dragon. Seven, eight, seven, eight, pair hand, if we can get green dragons, or maybe we could play like numbers with eights and dragons. I think I would give up the nine, six, seven, eight, Kongs, seven, eight, seven, eight. This is really risky. Year tiles, three, six, nine. I think I would break this up. Pass these for optional. No keepers. I would discard all these year tiles first. We have a lot of discards. This one was rough. Seven, eight, Seven, eight. I think I would keep the dragons though, because if we get a green dragon, we could maybe play the seven, eight pair hand. I would discard these first. Focus on seven, eight. Try to use those flowers. The Charleston is half the game. You can exponentially improve the strength of your hand if you make the right decisions at the right time. 
Look for links in the video description below to some helpful tips. And if you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston modeling, may all your picks be keepers.